My intellect is without limit. Stacks back. School phase MTG. So what was Wizards thinking? They gave us Fibrixian Obliterator. I don't know what they were thinking. That card is busted. It's busted as busted can be. In case you don't know what it is, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. So yes, this is Phyrexian Obliterator. This is in the Anthology 3 uh, for us to play in the Historic. Um, and it's, This is pretty much one of the most busted black creatures of all time. Um, it's, and ironically, it's one of my favorite creatures of all time. I used to play this real heavy when it was in Standard. Um, and since they brought it to Arena, I'm going to play it. I can't help myself. I have to do evil things with it. So, I got this reanimated list brewed up for Historic. Uh, and I've been running this all day and in, in Ranked, actually. I've been running this in, uh, in, in Mythic Ranked for Historic. And it's been doing really well. Um, Obliterator stops aggro stat strategies in their track. Any kind of burn strategies in their track. Um, surprisingly enough right now historic a lot of removal is damage you don't see too many uh destroy effects you see a lot of damage there's a lot of grooves decks a lot of uh aggro decks that utilize damage to remove um your things so that that, that just doesn't work against obliterator um but yeah this is abzan uh reanimator uh for historic um, so let me get into the tech here and just explain as I go. I got a uh, four stitcher supplier for Meyer Triton for the Binding of the Titans for Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan is like all star in this deck because I mean, you get you accumulate stuff in the grave so quickly. By the time you get Artisan out, he, he's usually like a 7 7 or 8 8 for two mana, and it's crazy. Just super all star. He's like a Michael Jordan in this deck. Um, four Rotting Rigisaur. I call him Skeletor. That's my pet name for him. But this guy is excellent. Um, I always love opportunities to utilize this guy because I think it's just such a good card, but it's hard to operate in, in most decks if it's not in the deck that's designed to work with it. And this deck is definitely designed to work with it. Um, a lot of times you'll end up with spells like uh, Umbarial Rites or creatures like Zoltalpa in your hand or Ulamog. And you want to discard those to the grave so you can reanimate them. Well, Rotting Ridge saw he takes care of that. He lets you, he makes you discard something every turn. On top of being a big beater for three mana. And that's all, you know, stacks land right there. That's scoop fat, scoop phase mania. Big beat face creatures making people scoop. And he definitely will make people scoop if they don't have an answer for him. Um, he's just tough to deal with coming down on turn three. And then uh, we have four Phyrexian Obliterator. Madness. I mean... I can't explain how good this guy is. You just have to really play with it for yourself. And you'll see in my gameplay, people just don't know how to react to this card. And like I said, there's not a lot of destroy effects going on right now. There's not a lot of decks are real aggro ish. They're like Gruul, they're like um, Obosh aggro. So their source of removal is going to be damage. It's not going to be destroy effects a lot of times. So, and that just won't work on Obliterate. I mean, if they lightning bolt him, then they're going to have to sacrifice three permanents. Sucks for them, but hey, it is what it is. Evil card, but I'm playing with it. Uh, three, Bond of Revival. Three, Unburial Rites. Two, Zotalpo, Primal Dawn. Two, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Also from the Anth Anthology 3. Um, I'm not casting Ulamog in this deck. Uh, I think maybe I casted him twice. Um, I'd have played the deck all day, and that was because the game drug on to very very late game and i ended up having 10 mana to where i could cast it and i ended up casting it but we're not worrying about the cast trigger off of ulamog we're just cheating it into play with reanimation and uh the opponent basically has to deal with it they got to find a way to deal with it or um either a they're going to be eating a lot of damage and end up dying very quickly or b they, they're not going to have a library and i have milled a lot of people's libraries out with this card just today just playing this card just today i've i've milled many opponents libraries out just in two swings so they either they either die from damage or they die from not having a library either or. so they got to get rid of it and then one galta um galta is really good because when you get um richasaur out or fiend artisan they're already huge creatures so they they make galta cheap early game so Having it in the grave or having it in your hand, it really doesn't matter with Galta in this deck. It's good either way. You don't really have to always worry about getting it in the grave to reanimate it. Because a lot of times you can just cast Galta for two or three and it, I mean, easily on turn four. So 
yeah galta one one copy of it i don't want to see too many of it because it is legendary <clears throat> excuse me then for the land base i got two planes one castle lock wayne one two swamp two forests three godless shrine two isolated chapel two overgrown tomb uh two woodland cemetery two sun petal grove two temple garden two in Dalta Trium, I think that's how you say it, and uh, three Fable Passage. And then for the sideboard, I do have a sideboard worked up, just one quick and easy. If you're running some best of three, um, the most probably the biggest thing you're gonna have to worry about in best of three is agent. So, of course, we got four Hushbringer, um, in, in here. We're not gonna run Cage because we are a reanimated deck, so Cage stops us too. We don't want that, so you got to resort to Hushbringer to stop agent. Um, against aggro, low to the ground aggro strategies, I got two Cry of Carnarium. Um, in case we run into like Planeswalker decks, I got Mythos of Nethro, Nethroi, Nethroi. Yeah, that's how I said Nethroi. Uh, three of those and uh, two Shalai Voice of Plenty. Um, Shalai is another defense against Agent. So yeah, they can get Agent out and they can steal Shalai, but they can't steal anything else that we have on the board. And a lot of times they will want something else that we have on the board instead of Shalai. So we would much rather them steal our Shalai than steal our Ulamog because that would be bad. And then we got four uh, Field of Ruin for those Field of the Dead decks. They are still out there, but they aren't as big of a problem because with us running Phyrexian Obliterator, if they block it with all of their zombies, they're going to lose zombies and they're going to lose other permanents. So it it just makes life difficult for them. So yeah, that's the deck. It's very super sweet. I love reanimator strategies. It's one of my favorite archetypes ever since I was a kid. And um, this deck's a lot of fun to play. Um, very good to rank up with um, if you're playing historic right now. So definitely give it a whirl. But enough of that. Let's get into the action. Uh, I'll try it. Can't get a uh, turn one stitches supplier, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Be all right. This person's name. I'm not even gonna try to say his name. Too many letters. Whatever his name is, looks to be playing some Gru aggro. Fiend Artisan, and I'll play Stitcher Supplier, maybe that'll that'll beef it up soon. Um, the Fiend Artisan might entice me to use some removal, you know, they, they love their Domery ambushes and all that stuff, so I'd rather than waste the resources now. Like, next turn I can go Fable Passage into Phyrexian Obliterator. That'll that'll slow down all this attacking that he's doing. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna block with the stitcher supplier right now, and uh, that may pump up the artisan some more. All right, all right, got a five five now. Uh, yeah, let's go Fable Passage, fetch up the swamp. Get Obliterator into play. I don't foresee him attacking much anymore now. Obliterator is so good against aggro strategy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, no attacks. Alright, I got a Skeletor and another Obliterator in the grave here. Oh! What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You're gonna lose all your permanents. <laughs> oh man, he's probably got Embercleave. Okay, I don't think he. I don't think he read Obliterator. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna lose all your stuff. Sacrifice for permanence. Whoa! <laughs> 
Sacrifice another permanent. <laughs> uh, you lose. <laughs> uh, other than the can't get a turn one stitch supply, it's a good hand, so. Leo Larissa. It's a nice unique name. Go ahead and get the Triton down. In case, in case they put down anything, uh, I need to poke. Death touch, poke. Meyer Triton puts in some good work poking things. Alright, go ahead and stitch the supplier. Three lands. Oh man, it's not good. I might have mana screwed myself. Might be stuck on three lands for a while now. Right, playing a bunch of mana rocks up there. Uh, no need to pay for that right now. Midnight clock. What even is this deck? What are they doing? I guess I just swing in for three. Are you gonna play something meaningful? Or are you just gonna keep playing mana rocks? I got here two. Got Skeletor and a Galt in the grave here. So if I draw a land, this person is just, just dead. They just died. <laughs> they died of Galt alone. Oh, the fairy, my buddy. All right, we need to move quickly. All right. Well, unfortunately, no. That's not gonna get it. That can't save you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Game is over now. I don't. I don't know what this person was trying to do, but <laughs> we're not gonna let him get to it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Um. It's nice. I gotta get you out of here. <laughs> Alright, good to go. Guinness 727. Oh, Weaponsmith. Oh man. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Alright, might as well play the other supplier. No need in holding it. Did a lot of good stuff in the grave. Oh, that's Godzilla. What is this? Uh, artifact good stuff. Let me go ahead and get Skeletor down so I can have a threatening presence on the board. Don't want to be eating too much damage. I don't know how fast this this deck of his is gonna move. Oh, okay. Definitely artifact good stuff. I like it. Hmm. Um. Go ahead and pitch this, and uh, they want to play the Binding of the Titans now, so I can uh. Yeah, I'm gonna play Binding. So I can disrupt his grave. Um, yeah, he can. He's gonna be able to return artifacts back with Emery. So let's go ahead and swing in. Oh, taking seven to the face. He doesn't want his. He doesn't want his stuff to die. All right. Oh. Luckily for me, I'm not playing Planeswalkers. Uh, let me pitch the Talpa. Uh, let me get rid of, I guess, his artifacts. Because that's what he can recur. So, Unfortunately, could not catch them before he played Immortal Sun. But, oh well. Fiend Artisan. Uh, and uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna swing in with Skeletor again here. You can block it with your Mech Godzilla if you wish. Nope. Can't keep eating seven. 
Uh oh. Saying good game. Is that a is that a I win good game? Like a, a, a cheeky I win good game, or is that a I know I'm about to lose good game? Let's still find out here. Well, he's played out a bunch of stuff, but I don't I don't think that's necessarily a good game. Take your five. Probably should have left him back on block duty, but no, we want the life limit. All right. All right. You now get back. Uh, oh, I got in my graveyard here. Um. Okay. I'm gonna get back a woodland cemetery so I don't have to pay life. All right. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna unburial rights to Talpa. Well, yeah, I'll get to Talpa. So I don't, so I don't eat damage. So I don't keep eating damage from the fly. He doesn't keep gaining life. I know it's nice. All right, just swing with Skeletor. Oh, he's saying good game again. Oh man. Is he, what does he got? He keeps saying good game. He's scaring me. Uh oh. Gonna be, gonna copy your mesh Godzilla. Pretty good. Oh, Token doesn't have the mesh Godzilla art. It's just a crystalline giant. All right, me. Uh, I'm gonna pitch the land. Hopefully, I draw another land. He keeps saying good game. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it is good game now. <laughs> you get Galta back, and uh, that, that's that's pretty much gonna wrap things up here. So yeah, good good game, buddy. <laughs> All right. Nice. Love love great hands like this. Morg. Playing against the Morg. He uh play it right now. Might be getting ready to send me to the Morg. Might be getting ready to put that beat down on me. What are you, what are you playing, Morg? Alright. Uh well, why did I pick that? Uh yeah, let me find out what he's playing right now. Oh. Nissa. Nissa and Uro. 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 Um, yeah, let's definitely uh, get rid of one of these Nissas and get rid of Uro. Uro. Get out of here, Uro. Alright. Uh, they tapped and played the artisan. Swinging with the Triton. What I got just Skeletor. Oh, it's going into big time ramp mode. All right, uh, guess I'll get back the uh, back my land here so I can get, get two more black sources for uh, obliterator. All right, uh, yeah, 17. I want to put him on a short clock, so let me go ahead and get Skeletor here. All right, all right. Uh, he's got to he's got to make something happen. He he's got to stop all the ramping and just uh, get to business. Oh, oh, Garuda. All right, I like Garuda. What did he give me? Artisan. All right, just the artisan, huh? Uh. Guard on barrier rights. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and get my fourth black source. I'm gonna swing in first. Let's see what he does. Alright. Alright, both of you guys are gone. 
Go ahead and play Obliterator. And uh, I'll be done. Uh, be sacking all those lands that you worked so hard for. Oh, I like Garuda. He's helping me out so much in this game. What I get? Uh, Skeletor. All right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and play Stitcher Supply first and see if we can make the artisan bigger. All right. It's great. Now he he has to block the artisan. So, or he just dies. <laughs> oh man, I love the synergy of this deck. Alright, let's go ahead and uh look at Ulamog. He might he might have an agent he can steal, but it won't even matter because he's gonna be he's gonna have to block the obliterator, which will make him like sack all of his lands and stuff, so <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, plan to get some Urion, the score, Sky Nomad. I can keep this against Urion. Urion's usually uh, pretty pretty slow getting things together, so I can risk a two-lander. Alright, that's good. Sky Nomad, Squirtly, plant some Sky Serpent. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get the Triton down. Poke. Poke your Paradise Druid. Oh. Feel the dead. Oh man, I think people who play these Urion decks, they just try to stick like every top tier card they can into Urion decks. <laughs> Alright, let me swing in. You can block with your reef if you'd like. I prefer if you did. Alright. Yeah, I think these Urion decks they just is they just think, let me just stick everything I can. Every every top tier card on arena. Two reefs. Not hitting any lands though, so. It's good for me. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and uh, get Obliterator down. Uh, and I'll just swing in with the Trident again. Oh! He's gonna give up one of his reefs. Didn't expect that. Why wouldn't you just take two? Okay. Oh! Hunting. Oh, he's playing shrines. I wanna, I wanna make a hunting deck. Might do that next. Go ahead and get another obliterator here. Swing in. Um, I won't swing in with the artisan. I'll just leave him back. He's, he's still in, in baby mode right now. All right. Yeah, like those Hundens, man. They they were trash cards back in the day, but they might be pretty good on arena. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Want to play Elspeth Conquers Death? Exile one of my obliterators. He's probably thinking right now, like, man, the obliterator is such a broken card. Why is that even on here? Trash. I know, man. It hurts. Obliterator hurts. Okay. Spiral. Into wood. He's paying, he's paying for his land, so he's got something. What you got? Oh. He can't save you. <laughs> he can't save you. Alright. He's gonna get some cards in his hand here, but it's really not gonna matter. Staring down lethal from no obliterators. So it's gonna have to he's obligated to block now. Let's go ahead and swing in. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep my artisan back. My little, my little buddy, my little artisan. He can, he can hang back. I don't want him. Yeah, you're gonna. Just gonna lose four permanents. And uh, you'll still die from trample. All right. Well, he's gonna lose his whole board now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely want we definitely want Urion dying. So. All right. Sack your whole board. Sack everything, buddy. Poor Yurion. He can't save you. He can't save you. We had insult to injury. Get more obliterated back. Let's go. Sky Nomad. <laughs> That's how you do it. With obliterator. Yeah. But if you like this deck, go ahead and try it out. If you got the wild cards to spare, if you got the anthology tree, it's definitely worth trying out. It's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you rank up with it. Let me know your thoughts on this deck. Comment down below if you haven't already. Like and subscribe. Um, got a lot of giveaways coming up pretty soon. I'm going to wrap stuff up for uh, 2020 or 2021, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, got a lot of new content coming pretty soon here. So, uh, it's going to be coming down the pipeline. So, also stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, spread the school phase mania. Share this video. Share my content. Let everybody know. Let's help grow the channel. And I appreciate everybody, as always. See you guys next time.